So far, you have learned how to set up an Alice scene and then done some basic programming. In this video, we'll look at how to control some of the programming a little bit more. Before we start building our world, let's take a look at the final product. So this is what we're going to be building today. We have an eagle flying to a log and landing on it. We're going to use some different control structures to achieve this. So let's go ahead and open up Alice by double clicking on the icon on the desktop. And this time we're going to open the Northwest Forest world. And again, you can either double click on it or click and click open or OK. Let's take a second for it to open and let's go to set up our scene. We're going to add two objects to the scene. We're going to add an eagle and a log. And I find the fastest way to do it is just go to the search gallery. I can type eagle and I'm going to double click the eagle and I want it to appear at the center of the world. And again, I'm going to type in log. And this time I want a new jungle log. Log bridge is the one at the very end. I'm going to double click on it, choose OK. And notice that both things are in the center of the world. And I want my eagle and log to be about two meters or so apart. So I know that right now they're both at the center. So I'm going to make sure the log is selected. And then down here where it says position, I'm going to highlight this X value and put in minus 2.0 and hit enter. And you can see my log moves two meters to my right. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have the eagle facing the log. So I'm going to click on the eagle. I'm going to go to my one shots menu, procedures, turn to face, this jungle log. And that's it. That's our setup. So let's go ahead and go to our edit code. For our vinyl view, we want to have our eagle fly and land on the log. So we're going to start out by having the eagle move toward that log. So let's go move. And I want it to go up one meter. Okay. Now I'm going to add another move statement. And I want it to move forward one meter. And then another move forward one meter. So the eagle is going up and then forward two meters. So I'm going to drag in a move. I want it to move down. And I don't want any of these values right now. I want to try to put in 0.4. Um, so I'm going to do, choose a custom decimal number and do a 0.4. Click OK. And let's go ahead and take a second to save it. Let's go to File, Save. I'll call it uh, Eagle. Click Save. Let's go ahead and run this to see how it looks. So the Eagle goes up, forward twice, and then down. And again, that wasn't very smooth, but it was close to landing on the log. One of the things we want to look at is, does this order make any difference? So I'm going to change this forward and then down. And let's see if that affects where the eagle ends up. So I'll click run. It goes forward, up, down, and forward. And you see the eagle lands in the same place but it didn't look very realistic as how an eagle would fly to the log. Right, let's go ahead and put these back in order. Up, forward, forward, down. Um, as you saw in the, the last video, we can use a do together to, to get a more effective animation. So I'm going to drag a do together. I'm actually going to add the first two statements, up and then forward. And I'll put this at the top. And I'm going to click Run. Oh, and you see he kind of goes up in a diagonal because he's going up and forward at the same time. Um, so that looks a little bit better. All right, let's try adding another Do Together in. And then add these two statements in. Let's run that. And it goes up, and it goes down. So it's actually starting to look like the eagle is going up and then down. So it's looking a little bit more realistic. Let's look at if we actually change the order within the do together blocks. 
So I'll drag this up here. And again, all I've done is change the order. Let's run that. And you can see since they're doing it together, the order doesn't really matter. What about the actual position of the two together blocks? Let's see if that makes any difference. So I'll drag this second one above the first one. Let's try that. Oh, that makes a big difference. You can see the eagle went down into the ground and then back up through the logs. That didn't make any sense. So the order of the do together blocks actually is important. So I'm going to put it back the way it originally was. OK, well, the eagle actually has some built-in methods to make it look like it's flying. So that's pretty neat. So I'm going to take flying pose, which is right here at the top, and I'm going to drag it into the first block. And then the eagle also has a fold wings that I'll also drag into the first block. And remember, the order doesn't matter since it's doing it together. Let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Well, that didn't seem to make any difference whatsoever. Let's try restarting it one more time. Well, I saw some wing flapping there, but it still didn't look quite right. Well, the reason is it's trying to, it's trying to be in a flying pose and fold its wings at the exact same time, so we really shouldn't see anything happening. And there is a way around this, and that's the do in order block. So I'm actually going to drag this do in order block into my do together block. This is called nesting, because one block is inside another. Now I'm going to put the flying pose and the fold wings pose into this do in order. So what happens is, it does this first, then this, but it does it all at the same time as the eagle's moving. So let's take a look at what this might look like. Ah, so you can see that the eagle flapped its wings as it was moving up. So this do an order block did work. So let's go ahead and do that same thing for my second one. Let's do an order. And then let's add a flying pose and then a fold wings. Let's run this. So that actually looks like the eagle's flying, but it's still not a very smooth animation. And there's one final thing we can do to make it look much better. Uh, and that is because the flying pose and folding wings happens at a, a different time than the moves, the moves do, we can just change the duration of the moves to make it more like the folding wings. So I'm just going to add a duration of two seconds to each of my moves. And let's see what that looks like. So the eagle goes up. And now that was a much more smooth animation. So hopefully in this video you've seen that by using a combination of do and orders and do togethers, you can achieve some very realistic animations. In the next video, we'll look at decision making in Alice.